Welcome yet to another episode of Mortar Archery's reviews, tests and whatsoever. I'm Armin. Today we talk about finger or thumb protection in leather. A while ago I came up with this design. Uh, so first of all, why would you use a leather protection? First of all, maybe because you are not sure if you want to really go into thumb release and stuff like this and you look for a cheap solution to protect your fingers because when your thumb is not used to it it will get sore quickly. In my case it was the reason I teach archery as some may know and when you have a class of 10-15 people uh, wanting or you teach them archery it's hard to provide thumb rings for 10, 15 people in all different sizes that they fit and whatsoever. So when you have different kinds of groups, then it was for me the easier solution to do this in leather. So if people have really delicate fingers, then they can use this leather strap, this leather protection and do their thumb release first shots and later on they can get a thumb ring or whatsoever. So my design was this one. I gave it once to one of my students because he wanted to earn money. I said, listen, build them for me. I pay you money and he could make a good money with it, but he never did. So I gave it to a guy in Pakistan and he built them for me. You see, it's quite simple, the design with the Velcro here. And I thought one size would fit all, but it's not going to work. It fits my size when you have a smaller finger like this one and the Velcro is already not sticking anymore. So not completely done with this version. This is Mark 1, so maybe a Mark 2 would be better. But when I see what I paid for it. Next is from Neumeyer Archery. It looks quite fancy. You see you have a small belt buckle and this rubber strap in the front. So with a belt buckle you can adjust it accordingly to your finger and this rubber thingy, what I really like, holds it in place so it's like a second skin, it doesn't go anywhere. For me the downside, my thumb is a little thick and you see already it's a little too tight. So it gets white here and my thumb gets dark so it cuts off the blood circulation. For a few minutes it's nice but I don't want to have this for an hour shooting on it. Then what you can come up with, this is I got from Elite Bogen years ago. They had it from Hungary. It's a thumb protector, like protection like this, but it doesn't fit my thumb, but you get the idea. It's like these three finger gloves and then you simply put a strap and you wrap it around your wrist and you're ready to go. Uh, if you're looking for something like this, get the new Bearpaw glove. It's I think 10 euros get a bigger size than you normally use. This is now XL or something, I don't know. And check it if, take at least a little bit bigger one. Look at this, it's a little too wide, but see when I take an XL, my thumb fits in, and then you simply take a pair of scissors, cut it off, put a shoelace like this, put small holes, a shoelace through, then you can put this on there, tie it back and for the price of 10 euros you get three thumb, pro thumb protectors. Nice idea too, but it needs always here adjusting and you know you have this thingy here and we get to the, to the practicability test later. And now I found on aliexpress.com by accident, it was under the section hunting outdoor finger protection something, this piece. And it looks really incredibly like a quite good thumb protector. So and what this is, this is seriously one size fits all. This part of the leather goes behind your knuckle and then you have this, which one is this? There's a knot in it. Why is there a knot in it? It's not mine. And then 
you need three hands or you make it with your teeth you can really tie it down and this is really solid but we get there in a second when we start shooting so these four we will compare today first off so first off i start with my uh, invention once with the velcro it's not too bad but hmm. so how does it feel you can grab your arrow easy you can put it on it's a little weak so sometimes it will bend a little back and then you need to care that you have it in front again for shooting so not a big deal but yeah it's okay Let's see if we can do different kinds when you hold the arrow in place. You get used to it. Works. So. Sometimes it's a little distracting because it's a little thin leather. Yeah, but it's okay. Good. So, works. Can happen when you shoot a heavy bow or when you sweat a little that it simply see not a lot of pulling effort is needed and they come off. Now let's check this Neumayer archery one. I said I can shoot it a while, but then my finger, my thumb will get through. And the thing is it's not really perfect adjustable because the holes are whatever five six millimeters apart and this one is almost too tight for me and the other one is too loose so it's a little hard better than my solution but still a little hard to get it really where you want it. and of course you can put this back there in the other belt buckle and then it looks fancy let's see how the oh yeah it's a little stiff, but it works. Once you get the hang of it, how you have to do it. Even with a thumb ring, it's different than shooting bare-handed, bare-fingered, bare, whatever, you know what I mean. A little, a little creepy. Ah, not creepy. These are, yep, with this method, it's a little harder. To get the hang of it when you have your fingers full then it's a little more difficult than the other one I don't want to shoot the others so you get the idea so nice idea not completely one size fits all which would be of course perfect for me my thumb is too thick, as you see, it's already getting a mark from this a little too tight rubber strap in the front. Next solution would be this finger hoodie from Hungary. I only don't have the proper size, so I used one of the new bare paw ones. I cut the piece off, put your thumb in, then of course you need to strap it. So if it comes off now, it's only because it's not tightened. How does this feel? Oh, that feels weird because the tip of the thumb is covered too, so you have always, yeah, you get used to it. It's okay. I mean, you can get used. Ah, oh, yeah, oh, it's fiddly. Yeah, no. Let's see this version here. Ah, it's a little. These edges here stick on the string or nah, no. It's nice. When you only whatever shoot normally and you start thumb release, it's fine. But when you go later for horseback or fast shooting or something, mm, not the best solution. Nice to have, but it's not the best solution. And you need to see uh, I forgot the price of this one, I think three dollars or something. The price of mine here is three euros. A glove from Bearpro cost you 10 euros, so one is 3.33. This one from Elite Bogen, I'm not sure, I think I paid seven, eight euros. 
So hmm? better DIY. Now we come to the one size fits all solution for me. And it was, I think, $2 or $2.50 or something in AliExpress. At the beginning, you need to widen them. They're all a little tight together. But then hmm, this does not go anywhere. So the leather is a little thicker than the one in my version. Yeah. When the leather is, the lip is too long for you, you can make it simply shorter. Ooh, yep. And it doesn't bother too much when you bring the arrow on. So that's fine. Let's check this one. Yeah, here, oh, here it's a little. So, ooh, tip is loose, my assistance. Tip of an arrow is loose. How can this happen? Yeah, you need to know how to lift your thumb when you bring the arrow on, then you can slide over. So this is, here you need to lift the thumb quickly and then you grab the arrow on the other side and then you can knock and shoot. So that's fine. Still needs a little adjusting. Not that you get the leather inside the knock of the arrow. So it needs a little feeling, but you get there. So for me, this one, because really one size fits all, doesn't go anywhere, is small, is intelligently made. And when the lip is too big, cut it a little shorter, what you need for your thumb. And this one, as you see, compared to mine, it seriously goes nowhere. So you really have to open it like a good shoe. And then you can, oh, most probably, get rid of it. So for me, leather protection, of course, guys. And I saw many posts already when I showed you this, the photo of it. You can do it DIY, do it for yourself. For me to consider, okay, when I build one for myself, it might be fine. So I need to find somewhere a leather. Then I need to get somewhere this rubber strap there and I need to get one of these, I don't know how you call this ones, these metal closing thingies. So then I have this stuff, spent already money. Then I need to sit down, make a template, cut it in place, cut it in, in, into the right shape, punch the holes in, fiddle this in, do everything until I'm there. I spend time and I have one. And I said an AliExpress, it's two dollars or something, shipping free for two dollars. I don't think about getting out, getting a piece of leather and you get the point. And it's for me, I teach, I need only one, I need then 10 or 20 and I sell them. So I need 20, 30 and I don't want to sit there and build 30 in the evening. And not for me, of course, you can do it DIY. You can do this one DIY. You can do this one. You can do everything DIY. But for me, it's always, I need something which everybody can use and have for a good price. And this is for me absolutely worth it, $2 or $2.50. It's worth it. Get one and you will be happy. It doesn't come off the finger. Better than all the others. I have the best feeling for it. But now I show you something else. Um, normal gloves. So, when you shoot Mediterranean, okay, you need your glove, whatever which one you have. Here in Malta, the thing is, it's always quite hot. And in a leather glove, you will always sweat when you shoot a while. So in leather and sweat doesn't go very well together. Of course, it's nice to have when you shoot your modern long recurve or whatever. Glove, nice to have. For me, way too much. Some people like this, this gadgety and, and you know, bracing up here. Uh, they are now from Bearpo, the summer gloves. They are more with a mesh. They look a little too kinky for me. And then there are the other ones. I showed you the new Bearpo ones. Still nice. But what still can happen is with these ones, with these, not with these ones, I don't 
I didn't bring it now. When you have this one on, sometimes what I see when people shoot with it, that still, because there is a rubber strap holding it in place and it still comes off and sometimes it comes completely off. So it's not the most secure thing. But what you could think of, because this is $2, Now it's four dollars, and now it's six dollars, and really fitting exactly your fingers. Look at this, I have a three finger glove, only as a finger protection, and that works stunningly, interestingly even up to higher draw weights. There's nothing coming off, nothing coming loose. Ah, don't shoot thumb release. Nothing coming loose. And what I like, you don't sweat. You only have your fingers covered and this small ring here. The rest of your hand is free. So especially in warmer areas like Malta, it's really worth considering this one. So that's nice. But we are not done yet. I have yet another idea for you. And now we come back to, okay, you spend already $6. What you have, you can shoot your Mediterranean style really proper. Get rid of one. I call it Slavic release. Others may call it different. Others may say this is the wrong way of shooting, but I did a video about this because I saw this. You have two fingers around. The index holds the arrow in place. So you have your two fingers protected for your Slavic release shooting if you want to start this. Works completely great because these two fingers have nothing on it and only your draw fingers are protected. That's really cool. So you have you can use this for already Mediterranean, Slavic, and of course, thumb release. Right and left hand, no difference. This one is not a tight one. And you can easily switch when you say, okay, I'm done with my Slavic release training. I want to go now for thumb release. Of course, some people will tell you, decide which style you should right hand. Uh, the tip is still loose, my friends. So some people tell you, okay, once you decide you shoot thumb release, don't go away from it and only shoot thumb release. It's for me too limiting because I like the experience of different shooting styles. But when you see this, with one protection, you get three. Shipping free, you pay $6 or something, so it's five euros or whatever. It's, it's not even 10 euros. You get a protection for your thumb. You get a protection when you start learning Slavic release and you have a protection for Mediterranean release, right hand and left hand. So for me, the most versatile finger protection right now is this one. I will get a few here. They are available in brown and in black. They look good to me. They have now a few shots. They still look fine. And I mean, and even if one will break, I mean, order 10, you know, this is, you can give it as a gift to a friend and you have a few spare ones just in case you really lose one. Because the problem is more likely that you lose one out of your pocket than you lose it in action. Because see, I only pushed it back and it's, already almost not going back. This is a rubber string here. So it's really well made. Two dollars. The most versatile thumb leather protection I discovered so far. So if you have any questions, simply let me know in the comment section below. Until then, I prefer to shoot with my bare thumb because I like to do it like this. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.